Chameleon by Pat Brown. The novella Placing Out by P.A. Brown. Fade in. Exterior, Los Angeles, night. Super, February 23rd, 1933. We float over the city of angels as Model T's, Model A's, and assorted 20s and 30s vehicles prowl the city streets below. Electric red car trolleys trundle down their tracks, clanging and rattling. Threadbare men, women, and children seek warmth around barrel fires among rows of makeshift tents of a Hooverville. Drifting out of the core, a battered jalopy clanks down a road. Match cut. Interior, bootleg warehouse, night. Sharp crack of a shotgun. Muzzle flares light the interior. Barrels of whiskey fill the dilapidated building. A single, grimy, sulfur light bulb provides illumination. Uniformed Cody Temple, 50s, iron-jawed, ill-tempered, veteran cop armed with a rifle, kicks the door to the warehouse open. It slams against the wall and ricochets. The roar of a second shotgun blast greets his entry. Shots peppers the surrounding walls, door, and floor. His partner... Ben Carter, 20s, also in uniform, rugged, looks like he knows his way around a bar fight or two, clears the door and drags a cursing Cody behind a row of barrels. More shots. Barrels are pierced. Jets of golden whiskey flow. Overhead, a barrel shatters completely, sending a whiskey waterfall cascading over everything below. We should have brought Roach and his boys with us. This is my collar. He raises his rifle, and Ben knocks the muzzle aside. Don't shoot. Temple grabs Ben's shirt front and hauls him over until they're face to face. A shallow nick on Temple's forehead leaks blood. He's mine. I've been hunting this some bitch for weeks. I ain't helping you get promoted over my ass. Ben slaps his hand away. Jesus, Temple. That's what you're worried about? Temple scowls. His response is barely audible. I've been here ten years longer than any of you. Ben pulls out a revolver and crab crawls across the filthy floor towards the shooter. He looks back at Temple. Stay here. Interior, warehouse, night. A shot whistles from Ben's right. He crab crawls towards the sound, firing twice. There's a cry of pain from the shadows. More shotgun blasts. Sparks fly. Flames erupt among the dripping barrels, race across the floor to climb the tinder dry walls. Told you to stay put. A blast of shot shreds the wooden strut over Ben's head. He empties his revolver at the shooter. Temple does the same. Silence. They reload. The dragon roar of the growing fire drowns the gunshots. More bullets spray the warehouse. Shit. Cody, get out. The inferno of heat and flame rolls across the kindling dry pinewood floor. Through the fire, Ben spots a burning body rolling on the floor. Cody! Ben dives into the growing blaze towards Temple, whose whiskey-soaked clothes have burst into flames. Exterior, bootleg warehouse, night. Hearst Metrotone News cameramen film as the warehouse succumbs to the blaze. A crowd gawks. Everybody steps back in alarm when a series of explosions come from inside the warehouse. Fire bursts through the boarded-up windows and doors. There are gasps when a figure erupts from the inferno, carrying a smoldering body over his shoulder.